Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this short series of uh, video tutorials on uh, Scilab and Xcos. So at the very beginning, uh, let me just show you what Scilab is. So yeah, let's go to its homepage. So uh, essentially Scilab is uh, an open source cousin of uh, MATLAB, which you all must be familiar with. But uh, Scilab uh, is open source. And it's essentially a numerical computation software. Sometimes it's used for modeling, sometimes it's used for simulation. You can use it for a variety of purposes. So uh, just to tell you how much it is versatile. So it's used in data analytics. You can use it for control systems. Uh, if you're uh, an electrical or mechanical engineer, uh, you can use it for uh, signal and image processing as well. Uh, and consequently, as a use, uh, as a byproduct of this, it's also heavily used in machine learning. So you can also have CFD and thermal applications. You can simulate a lot of uh, your prototypes. Uh, so the services uh, and software. Uh, so Scilab is essentially the computing software. It has a matrix base uh, much, much similar to MATLAB. And Xcos is, uh, the, it's the modeling environment. So uh, we'll get into Xcos later. And we also have a lot of uh, toolboxes Atoms is one of the best uh, that Scilab has to offer us. So first things first, uh, just go to the download uh, pane. And as per your operating system, uh, you just download the version. Uh, for some for some of you, uh, you might be required to update the Java on your system. But I think it's mostly an automatically driven process. So just install the software and we'll get uh, our hands dirty from next video onwards. Thank you for watching.